Hello students, today we will discuss the angle between the two straight lines in complex plane. So, let us see one argon plane and just two straight lines, two line segment PQ and PR and PQ is the line segment joining the complex numbers Z1 and Z2 and PR is the line segment joining the complex numbers Z1 and Z3 and angle between them is theta. Now, let us just shift the line segment PQ and PR to the origin, keeping the same angle between them. So, the point A is Z2 minus Z1 and point B is Z3 minus Z1. Suppose the angle which the line OA makes with the positive direction of x axis is alpha. It means the argument of Z2 minus Z1 is alpha and suppose the argument of B that is Z3 minus Z1 is beta and naturally the angle between them is theta which is anticlockwise and we have to find angle theta which is the angle between the two lines. And here let us see theta equal to beta minus alpha where beta is the argument of Z3 minus Z1 because it makes an angle beta. So, this is the argument of Z3 minus Z1 and alpha is the argument of Z2 minus Z1. So, this is the angle between the in this way we will get the angle between the two lines and or we can say line segment. Okay. So, now we will discuss one very important theory in the complex number which is applied to solve the IITJ questions. So, once again let us draw the same thing that is suppose a complex number A that is Z2 minus Z1 and the complex number B that is OB line Z3 minus Z1 and suppose the modulus of OA is that is the modulus of the complex number A is mod of Z2 minus Z1 and modulus of the complex number OB is that is complex number B is Z3 minus Z1. Now, suppose the line OA makes angle alpha with the positive x axis. It means argument of the from the previous we have seen that the argument of OA that is the complex number A is alpha and argument of B is beta and suppose anticlockwise in the direction the angle between them is beta minus alpha. Now we can say theta equal to beta minus alpha. So, z equal to mod z into e to the power i theta. We as we know that any complex number z can be represented as r into e to the power i theta in the polar form. So, here also we can express here the complex number b that is z 3 minus z 1 equal to r, r means it is modulus value and into e to the power i beta. Similarly, the complex number a that is z 2 minus z 1 can be represented as z 2 minus z 1 into e to the power i alpha. Just if we divide them, we are getting z 3 minus z 1 by z 2 minus z 1 equal to their mod value into e to the power i beta minus alpha. This is popularly known as rotation theory. So, everybody why it is called the rotation theory? What is the reason behind that it is called the rotation theory? Just see one thing as if it seems that with respect to z1, it seems that with respect to z1, z2 is rotated to the new position z3. So, that is why this is called the rotation theory. So, let us apply this concept to some sums which type of sums are coming in entrance examination. So, suppose there is a sum. Here it is given that suppose Z1, Z2, Z3 are the vertices of the equilateral triangle circumscribing the uh, circle mod Z equal to 1. Really what is the mod Z equal to 1? Mod Z equal to 1 means it is the circle x square plus y square equal to 1. It means its center is 0, 0 means its origin and radius is coming to be 1 and Z1 equal to 1 plus i root 3 and Z1, Z2, Z3 are anticlockwise sense, then Z2 is 
and in this case there are four options are given to us. So, let us see how to solve this sum. First of all, this is the equilateral triangle. So, all centers coincide and origin is 0, 0. Therefore, let us this is the circle suppose which is a mod z equal to 1. It means x square plus y square equal to 1 whose center is 0, 0. And just this is the suppose uh, equilateral triangle and let us draw one just for our calculation let us draw one circle which is here represented by the red color. Suppose A is the point z1, B is the point z2 and C is the point z3. Now let us join origin to the point z1 and origin to the point z2. And we know that one point is 360 degree. Therefore, this angle in this case is 120 degree. Therefore, we can say the angle AOB is 120 degree that is 2 pi by 3 because one point we know that it is 360 degree. So, this is 120 degree. Therefore, we can write, we can use the rotation theory that is z2 minus 0 because with respect to the origin it is rotated anti-clockwise. Therefore, z2 minus 0 final position to the initial position z1 minus 0 <coughs> equal to their mod value into e to the power i theta. In this case, theta is 2 pi by 3. Actually, 2 pi by 3 means what? e to the power i 2 pi by 3 is nothing but the omega, okay, whatever. So, that is e to the power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. In this case, we can say. Therefore, if we just cross multiply, we are saying that z2 equal to z1 value is given to us here. z1 into this is the value of cos 2 pi by 3. It means cos 120, it means minus half and sin 120 is root 3 by 2. Moreover, cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by 3 is the value of the omega which we have to keep in mind. Now, just simple if we calculate, if we take half 2 common this a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square and this is answer is coming to be minus 2. So, in there is no option it is minus 2 therefore, correct option is the d option. So, let us try one more IITJ question. In this sum, the complex number z1, z2, z3 satisfying z1 minus z3 by z2 minus z3 equal to 1 minus i root 3 are the vertices of, we have to find the nature of the triangle. So, let us see one thing. This is the triangle and in this case, A suppose be the point z1, B be the point z2 and C be the point z3 and just let us take the argument on the both side. If we take the argument of the both side, this is the argument of 1 minus i root 3 by 2, it is minus pi by 3. As we know that this is minus omega, we have to remember the value of omega that is cube root of unity in different form, different way that is very much important. Now, just see one thing, it means the angle between them the angle between z1 to z3 with respect to z3, if we just use the rotation theory, what we will see that with respect to z3, with respect to z3, the z2 is rotated anti-clockwise to the new position z1. Therefore, this is the, this sorry, this is not the anti-clockwise, this is a clockwise rotation because of minus pi by 3. So, now, just see if we take the mod on the both side, this is the mod of always remember one thing, the mod of any form of omega, cube root of unity, fifth root of unity, always it is coming to be 1. Therefore, we can say this mod value is coming to be 1. So, all angles are 60 degree and if this, this is the line mod of z1 minus z3, this is the line mod of z2 minus z3. So, we can say mod of z1 minus z3 equal to mod of z2 minus z3. So, this is nothing but the equilateral triangle. 
So we have to remember lot and lot with respect to the such complex numbers values. So the option here will be the option number B.